Hey everybody, all you mechanics and car guys out there work with wrenches all the time. Got a question for you. You ever work with one of these? Do you know what it is? Get a little closer here. It's got a nice V-shaped jaw on the top and a bump on the bottom jaw. It's kind of nice. For a long time, didn't know what to do with it. And it's almost embarrassing. Um, I got this as a gift, along with several other vice scripts, long, 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 long ago. Um, yeah, probably, probably close to 40 years ago, I got this set as a gift. And, you know, the standard big honker, well, you know what to do with that. You know. Long nose vice grips, know what to do with that. I had you know, a couple others in there, and, and then I had this one. And I kind of scratched my head and said, well, it's a vice grip, but what do you use it for? And I, I've used it a little bit, but it usually went to the bottom of the toolbox or ended up on the pegboard in my shop. And you know, I would do things like, you know, you got a piece of pipe or something tubular. You know, it would grab a hold of that pretty well, and you could you could work with a piece of pipe. But most days, this didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And things happen, and it just kind of got set aside. Sometimes you get inspiration, and the light bulb went on one day while I was working on the Mustang here. I've been working on the brakes, and that'll be another video for another day. I've been working. Uh, working on the brake system, I'm not quite done yet, I'm kind of in the middle. But I thought maybe I'd take the time and break in and say, hey, you know, what about this? The short answer is, this is an adjustable wrench for hex nuts. And you go, what? How does that work? You can see the profile. Take, put a hex nut in there. What you'll see is, we'll get up close. Two sides of the hex nut are held by in the V, and the third side of the hex nut is being pushed in by the bump on the bottom of the wrench, like so. So when you cramp, clamp on that dude, you've got a wrench that's got three sides of contact and won't slip. And so if you've got a tight bolt or nut, that you can't get off and you've been rounding the corners off on it. This one doesn't really depend so much on the corners and you can really clamp the daylights out of it. Many times, um, you know, you got other tools you can use. Typically, what do you do when you start rounding one of these guys off? Yeah, yeah, I know. You pull out the big guns, right? And you get out the big honker and you clamp down on that nut with the serrated jaws and you work it out. And eh, and that usually works. But isn't that but isn't that cool? Look at that guy. How nice that is. And how I could sit and have this on the shelf for all these years and not know any better is as I said. You learn something new every day. And this is mine. This one's got a few teeth at the end, so I mean you can use it for gripping on other things yet. And it's got the wire cutter section in the middle, which is also handy. But this, this particular one is called a 7LW. And they make smaller ones. I think it's a 4LW. And then there's even a larger one. I want to say it's a 10LW. I don't, you'd have to go look it up. But this one goes all the way down to 7 sixteenths of an inch hex. And it goes up much larger. So this really takes the place of, you know, you could use this instead of an adjustable jaw wrench. And, man, will that thing bite and not slip. And, you, you know, it snaps on just like a vice grip snaps on. Now, I've been telling you this story, and it all sounds cool, but, and we've all lived, you know, I've lived for years without using this, but here's where it comes in handy. You ever try take a tube nut off with one of these tube nut wrenches and the tube nut wrench doesn't fit right tight and it'll tend to slip 
And if you go back and look in one of my earlier videos when I was working on the Camaro, I had learned working on the Camaro that sometimes when you're using these tube nut wrenches, you could put a you could clamp a vice grip across the end of them and hold the jaws because I had some I had some tube nuts that were expanding the end of the wrench, right? So you could clamp this down and use the combination and then it would stay on and you could break the tube nut loose. Well, we're going to go one better. Here's the distribution block off the Mustang. The brake, brake distribution block and, um, and proportioning valve. And I had one of these little 7 16 tube nuts that just wouldn't come loose. It was being a pain. And to do that, you need to use this, you, you know, you need to use one of these little tube nut wrenches. And I couldn't get enough leverage. It was starting to come loose. I mean, it was starting to slip and it was going to round the corners off. And I didn't want to lose it because it was the original brake line out of the car. I decided to dig this one out of the bag and see what I could do with it. And inspiration, you know. And probably had I thought about it and gone and looked it up on the internet. But see, when I got these, the internet didn't exist, right? And so I, you couldn't go to Google or something and look it up and say, hey, what is this 7LW for? Which you could today. But you take that thing, we'll take that 7LW, and we'll, we'll dial it up. Just a minute here, let me dial it up a little bit. And so you dial it up you, and, and cinch her down and clamp it on, and it goes on that tube nut just like nobody's business. And not only does it get a good bite on the tube nut, but that's the difference in the length of the tube nut wrench. So you've got about three more inches of handle to grab a hold of so you can get more leverage on it. You know, you, you kind of, you'd, you'd maybe like to put a pipe on the end of your flare wrench tube nut wrench, but you know doggone well it's just going to take the corners off of the nut. Well, I'll tell you, I had this distribution block, it was driving me crazy, I was about ready to put a torch on it, and I said, huh, let's put this 7LW on here, and let's give her a crank, and you know, in about 30 seconds I had that thing popped loose, and we were in great shape. So, if you don't have one of these and you're working on brakes and tubes and so forth or nuts that you're worried about rounding off, go find yourself one of these. This, this thing is like gold. And I can't imagine that for 40 years it was in the bottom of my box and I just kind of overlooked it. So that's today's lesson in uh, you learn something new every day. That's all for now.